Hello, Cricketers, and welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. In today's tutorial, we are making some of those beer glass cans. I made four of them, and I want to share my process with you. These glass cans are so, so cute, and I typically don't make four of anything in preparation or during a tutorial, but once I got started, I couldn't stop myself. So they come like this, and I, I purchased a set of 10 of them. So they come with 10 different color lids and I just brought out another one just to show you. And they also come with straws. You get five of the straight straws and then you get five that have a tilt to them. Um, but I wanna share my full process with you. So without further ado, let's get started. The materials that I'll use for this project, in addition to my Cricut Maker, will be Cricut Green Shimmer Vinyl, Cricut Holographic Vinyl, Cricut Textured Vinyl, Strong Grip Transfer Tape is the Cricut brand. I'm using parchment paper that I purchased locally, my green standard grip Cricut mat. I'm using my Cricut True Control knife, my pen pen weeding tool, Cricut scissors, my Cricut scraper, um, a 143 vinyl squeegee tool. I'll use rubbing alcohol and a paper towel to clean the glass. I purchased a set of 10 beer glass cans from Amazon. They came with lids in various colors and straws. And I'm also going to use my Cricut Brayer. The four designs that are on these glasses were purchased in from Design Bundles as a part of their Plus membership. Everything will be linked below. And even though I'm using my Cricut Maker, this project can be completed with any Cricut cutting machine. When I opened Cricut Design Space, I uploaded the first file that I planned to use, which was the Shamrock file. When it came in, I could see that it was a layered file and I know that I did not need it to be layered, so I attached it. The next thing that I did was went over and grabbed a shape. I grabbed a rectangle and I know that I needed to resize it to match the shape or the size of the beer glass can. The tape measure that I was using only measured in centimeters. So I know that I needed to change my settings within Cricut Design Space. So I went to settings and I typically measure in inches, which is the imperial units. But for this tutorial, I measured in metrics so that I could get the sizing right for the centimeters, okay? So I unlocked this and I knew that the size of the beer glass can was 25 centimeters wide by 10 centimeters in height. And the next thing that I did after I grabbed my, made my template, I changed it from a basic cut to a pin just so I could see what my file would look like once it was stretched out across the glass. Okay, so I was right here just doing a double take and making sure my sizing was right. I knew I didn't want any overlap, but I also knew that I didn't want any gaps in the design. So what I did was I just put the um, template in the back and I resized my design to a width of 24.9 by 9.9. .9. So 24.9 was the width and 9.9 .9 was the height. And I did that just to make sure that I didn't go over and I, there wouldn't be any overlap on the design. The next thing I did was start to upload the other files that I was using for this tutorial. So I uploaded one that was 2D Hearts, which was also a layered file. And I just made sure my sizing was right. I changed the size of the file to 24.9 by 9.9. .9. I changed the color of the shamrock file to green 
I clicked make it and then I started to move the files down just a little bit on each of the four mats and it was time to set my base material with premium vinyl you do not mirror okay I'm going to select the pink layer first I went to browse all materials and I selected holographic vinyl but before each of the other layers were cut I changed the base material to match the type of vinyl that I was using. After I set my base material, it was time for me to do everything else back on the camera. I'm going to cut the black layer first and I'm using premium vinyl textured metallic. This was in one of the mystery boxes. And so I'm gonna cut this one out first. Going to start with the green one first because this one should be the easiest it's not doesn't require any layering so i will you know cover it with my strong grip transfer tape remember this transfer tape lets me know exactly how much space i have and i don't need to have anything more than this so i will cut off anything that's extra okay so i'm going to go ahead and get my image my design covered with my transfer tape Now that my vinyl is layered, I will cut away any of the excess transfer tape because I don't want there to be any overlap on the glass. So I'm just cutting away on the edges on both sides and I will prepare to get this placed on my glass. Um, instead of using the squeegee tool, I decided to use a roll of tape to hold the glass in place. And I wanted to try the taco method because layering just trying to go around the glass did not work very well on the second glass. So I removed the transfer tape from the backing and I had to get ready to commit to using the taco method because I knew that once the vinyl was placed on the glass and any piece, I, I would be stuck with that. So I was just very careful right here. Once I had a piece of it down, I just started to rub it into place. I pulled the left side really, really tight. And I just used my finger to um, get it adhered to the glass. And I pulled the right side really, really tight. There was a little bit of overlap, 
but I just picked up the pieces where it was where there was overlap with my weeding tool and it all worked out fine. I did not want to cut any of the vinyl away from the glass. So although there were like one or two pieces that had a little bit of overlap, I was okay with that. So these are the finished products. And what am I going to say? I love them. This is the cheetah print. And I've decided to use a black lid with a tilted straw. Okay, I love that one. This one is the 2D hearts. And I decided to use a white lid with a straight straw. So that's how that one turned out. This one is the shamrock with the lips. And I've decided to use a green lid with the tilted straw. And the last one that I did not do on camera um, is the purple tulips. And I've decided to use a purple lid with a straight straw. Okay, so this is the finished product. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider hitting that like button, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thanks for watching. Bye!